Somewhere in Des Moines or San Antonio, there's a young gay person who all of a sudden realizes that she or he is gay, knows that if the parents find out, they'll be tossed out of the house, the classmates would taunt the child, and the Anita Bryans and John Briggs are doing their bit on TV, and that child has several options, staying in a closet, suicide, and then one day that child might open a paper and it says homosexual elected to San Francisco and there are two new options. The option is to go to California. <laughs> stay in San Antonio and fight. Two days after I was elected, I got a phone call. The voice was quite young. It was from Altoona, Pennsylvania. And the person said, thanks. You've got to let gay people so that that young child and the thousands and thousands like that child know that there's hope for a better world. There's hope for a better tomorrow. Without hope, the only gay that those blacks, the Asians, the disabled, the seniors, the essence, the essence without hope yeses give up. I know that you cannot live on hope alone, but without it, life is not worth living. And you, and you, and you, got to give up hope. Thank you.